down, down, up, up, down, up, back. And welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX. Alright, so we've pretty much done all of the post-game story stuff at this point. The only other things left are the really long, like, challenging dungeons that... Honestly, I wasn't originally planning on doing, like... Actually, honestly, I wasn't planning on doing a lot of the post-game stuff, but we kind of accidentally fell into it and, you know, things happened. But I think I'm going to do one more big dungeon before calling it a playthrough. There are, like, technically I could do two, but I only kind of want to do one of them. Because they take forever, like, multiple hours to do a single dungeon. So if we're going to do one more big dungeon, we might as well do the ultimate, like, challenge of the game. And that is... Where is it? Uh, hold on, it's around here somewhere. Where's Purity Forest? There it is. Okay, so we're going to do Purity Forest. It is the ultimate challenge of the game. Because, yeah, special rules, no items, no money, only one Pokemon, and they start at level 5. So in terms of the poke, Okay, I already chose it beforehand, but in terms of the Pokemon that we could have brought, there are actually a couple of choices you could do. Like, I know the really pop- like, the really, really good one is... Uh, where is it? Do I have one? Hold on. Okay, the really popular one is actually Heracross. Because if you can get Heracross with a with a rare quality that lets all its multi-hit moves hit, it can pretty much solo the entire dungeon. Because A, multi-hit moves are insanely powerful, and there is a rare quality that lets them be a guaranteed hit. And it can learn it at level 5, so you can start off with it and just carry with you throughout the entire thing. Unfortunately, I don't think we have Heracross. Another really popular choice is uh, Charizard, because it start can start off with Heat Wave. I think... Ah, oh, that was one other Pokemon I was thinking of. But yeah, the Pokemon I decided to go with is... Where is it? Is Mew. For a couple of reasons. One, Mew can learn every single TM in the entire game. And in this dungeon, being able to learn TMs is actually very important, just to keep your move set up. And another reason is that it knows Transform. And Transform basically gives us a free, like, full PP charge on a single floor, if we can, like, transform into a good Pokemon. So yeah, I think Mew is going to be the one we go with. Ooh, do I actually want to... Mm. I don't know if I want to change its ability, though. I feel like XP boost is actually pretty good, just because it'll let us keep up in levels. Also, its base stats are really good because it's a legendary, so you know what? Let's go. We're bringing Mew with us. Also, yeah, we don't have to worry about money or anything. I already threw all that in storage. Also, we don't get to keep held items either. So yeah, we come in here with a completely clean slate. I have no idea how this attempt is going to go. I'm going to give this one good try. If we get to like 480 and die, I think that's good enough. Anyways, Mew only knows three moves at level five no matter what. Some later po or some Pokemon know a bunch of moves, and it'll just randomly pick four of them. So you can't get screwed over that way. Although to get around that, you can just reset the dungeon and just try again. But with Mew, we don't have to worry about that. Also, what does Reflect Type do again? Right, I don't have any IMs. I keep hitting the toolbox button. What does uh, Reflect Type do? Make type same as the Pokemon in front of you. Yeah, you know what? That's probably going to be replaced with the TM as soon as possible. But yeah, money is also very important to pick up with this dungeon because Kekleon shops are actually... I, wanna, I don't want to say super common, but they're common enough that they're actually worth going to and getting all your uh, getting some items bought. Especially TMs, like I said. If we can get some good TMs on Mew, we should be in a pretty good uh, position to finish the dungeon. But yeah, I haven't, like, seen runs where this... Oh! Crap. Oh, wait, no! Oh, wait, the Seer does not kick in? Uh... Are we okay? We're okay. Actually, the Seer does not affect sleep. Okay, poison, paralysis, and burn. Got it. 
I guess it doesn't use, uh, or it doesn't apply to sleep in this game. Also, let's try to be a bit careful. I don't want to get surrounded. I'm hoping uh, XP boost will get us a, good, uh, a couple of good levels early on. Because a few good stats will be really good. Careful. Uh, okay, no, we're good. I also don't have any orange berries or anything to heal with, so we're going to have to rely on regen for a while. Mobile ore, money, and luminous orb that I can't use because it's sticky. Yeah, I'm not fighting you. I'm just going to make a beeline for the stairs. We don't want to stick on A4 for too long. It's very important to pick up resources, especially apples and elixirs. But at the same time, we can't waste too many resources early on. Because we've already seen how painful it can be if you don't have enough food. Oh good, level already. But yeah, I'm not sure exactly how long this video, or not, this dungeon's going to be in terms of video length. It's going to be multiple videos, that's for sure. I'm not doing this all in a single sitting. Jigglypuff can be kind of rough because it can put us to sleep. Fortunately, that one wasn't too bad. Uh, Slumber Wand, I can't use it. It's sticky and it's raining. Great. Also, yes, weather is going to be a thing we're going to have to worry about in this dungeon because um, we're not a Psyduck anymore, so we can't just, like, ignore weather. Hyper Beam. Well then, I have an empty move slot, so why not? There is nearly no point in not using it. Also, what does Hyper Beam do again? How does Hyper Beam work again? Yeah, that's right. It does make you recoil the next turn. But that is good for a range. All right, let's find those stairs. So yeah, if we find get like really bad weather, it could actually be really bad. Just because if it's like Sandstorm or something that can actually do a ton of damage to us over time and le doesn't let us reach end health, that could be bad if we can't find the stairs quickly. Also, you know what? I do have gravel rocks. Throwing items are very handy because they let me... Oh, okay, never mind. Ah, right. Bite. I forgot about that. We're a psychic type now. But yeah, thrown items can be very good if they can actually hit. Or, you know, they could just catch it. That's fine. Wait, don't... Uh, is Pucci in that pickup? I don't think so. Please don't die, Mew. We're four floors down. I specifically picked you because you had good stats. I wasn't thinking about the fact that dark type... Or... What was that? What a that dark types would be super effective against you. I really should turn back and fight just for the experience, but I... There's a Bidu somewhere around here. What the heck is this floor? Oh yeah, Mewtwo... Or not Mewtwo. Uh, Mew can also float, so... I don't have to care about, like, water or anything or any floor hazards. I don't remember if there are traps in this dungeon. I think later floors do have traps. I think they at least take some mercy and just don't throw really bad traps at you early on. Okay, you know what? Why do... Ah, God. Did you just eat my eye dropsy? Oh, God. Alright, this is fine. Oh, Absorb is actually kind of annoying. Although, honestly, if we find a... Don't die. If we find a B... Uh, B do in the next floor, I might try to transform just to use Absorb to get my HP back. And to keep my HP high. Because I think I said this earlier. It's kind of hard to remember, because... This is actually the second time I recorded this. The first time it crashed on the first floor, so I didn't lose anything. But Absorb, or not Absorb, uh, Transform does also give you a full PP of all the enemy moves. Also, hey there, you. Don't catch, oh my god, why do I? Okay, you know what, fine, how about this? There. Ow. Oh, I accidentally used Transform, well that's fine. 
So yeah, we have a full set of PP for their moves. Oh my god, don't you dare die, Mew. Thank you. Ooh, this is actually really important. You don't have any rare qualities, but you're a meat shield. Get in here. I need to be careful about hitting A. Oh, that's a Togepi. Yes, tackle it. Give me the EXP with no risk to me. Perfect. Uh, Link Box, eh. It's also a sticky Link Box, what the heck? Why is it sticky? Why do I even bother throwing things? I don't remember them ever catching him this much. Wow, we cannot throw to save our lives. What the heck? Is it because they're looking at me? Oh, you know what? That's fine. Like I said, as long as it's taking damage, I don't have to worry about dying. Yeah, you know what? Screw this. Yeah, fine. Use it. Let's get that poison. It's gonna die now, isn't it? Yep, it's gone. And there's an awakened Pokemon here. Great. Okay, yeah, what is the mechanic for thrown items? I don't... I feel like sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Alright, come on. Uh, tackle. Oh, I should have been using Hell to boost my attack. Oh, I forgot the portrait also changed to whatever Pokemon you're transformed into. Alright. Oh, shop, shop, shop. Okay, how much money do I have? 400. What can I afford? Not much. Okay, I, ooh, Leech Life would be good. Substitute would also be, eh. In this game, it's not as good because you're moving around all the time. A stay away wand might be a good investment. Inviting Orb, mm. it would be handy to recruit more Pokemon, but at this point, we're gonna go to sleep soon. Don't you dare do anything dumb. Alright, uh, honestly at this point, I'm gonna buy a Stay Away Wand. Oh, by the way, do not steal in this dungeon. If you steal, you die. Because suddenly you're just going to have Kecleon on your butt. And Kecleon is probably one of the scariest Pokemon in the entire game. By far. For some reason the shot- Oh god. I'm dead. Unless- Nope, I'm dead. So... That went well. Alright, you know what? We're early enough on. We're only on 4-6. Let's try again one more time. Because, yeah, the game does let you completely reset the dungeon if you fail. So, you know what? I, like I said, I want to give this at least one good try, and I don't want to get unlucky super early on like that. There's a... yep. As much as, like, you're planning into... The, oh my god. As much as planning is important in this dungeon, a lot of the time it really does come down to luck, especially early on if you- oh god. Hmm. Well, I swear Mew is a decent choice. Wow. Alright, let's try that again. All right, let's try this again. Like I said, I want to get like, oh, oh, seriously? I want to get in one good attempt at this dungeon. That would have been amazing to use. Why is it sticky? Shadow Claw would have been great to put on Mew at this early on, but oh my god. Okay, if we can find a Cleanse Orb or whatever it is that gets rid of the gunk, we're using that. Unless I find a better move. Actually, I would really like a special attacking move at some point. I forget if Mew naturally learns Psychic. I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, 
Uh, light screen? You know what? I have an empty move slot. We'll do it. No point not learning it. Light screen is special. Yeah, it's special attack. Because reflect is physical attacks. Weather lock orb. That could be good. Weather could be bad, like I said before. I think. Honestly, now thinking about it, it might not... You know, I'm going to get rid of this accuracy down. Honestly, thinking about it, it might not be a bad idea. Oh, Bellsprout, get in here. Moving up. What is moving up to? Oh, moves for more easily. That can actually be really good. What was I saying? Protein. Okay, all of the stat-up items are going to be going on Mew. Also, none of these stat-ups are going to matter in the end. They're going to get reset at the end. I was saying something before I got distracted. I don't know what. Well, it wasn't that important then. But yeah, actually getting an ally early on and an orange berry, this round's already better. Ooh, plenty of food too. You know what? I think this is gonna be the run. I have a good feeling about this. But yeah, we're actually gonna be cycling teammates quite a bit through the dungeon, because unlike us, they don't level up. So in like 10 floors, Bellsprout's gonna be pretty much dead weight. It might be better to release them rather than letting them die in combat, because as we've seen before, if something dies in combat, it'll awaken the enemy Pokemon. And if they're awakened, they're gonna be that much harder to kill. But yeah, now that I actually have an ally with me, that actually makes me feel a lot better. In case we can, like, get put to sleep or something, they can continue to fight without us. Unless we're in a hallway. Hallways are still super dangerous because that could happen. Uh oh. No, 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 no. No, actually not. That's fine. Actually, that might have actually been good. Okay, you know what? You take care of this. I'm just going to stay back here for a while. Where the heck are the stairs? Also, you're asleep. I'm getting the hit in. Yeah, I'm fine with a little bit of uproar damage. Oh, I was kind of hoping they would join me. Having an uproar user or anything that has like a multi, or not multi, but like a room-wide move, really good. That's why Charizard is probably one of the better Pokemon to bring in with you, because it can learn Heat Wave at level 1 for some reason. Or I guess level 5. Which seems like a really weird choice, but okay. But yeah, Heat Wave can basically clear out entire rooms for you early on and make things much, much safer. But I decided not to do that because I don't think I have a Charmander that I wanted to train up. You don't even really have to train them up. You just gotta get them high enough to evolve and that's pretty much it. Embargo. Do I want Embargo? Eh, not really. Actually, you know what? I might sell that if we run to another shop. Also, I forgot Vine Whip had actual range in this game. For some reason, I thought that was a melee range move. Uh... Well, I'm here now. There was something in there that I was gonna pick up. What was it? It's an orb. That could be good. It is Sea Trap Orb. Actually, that could be ba not bad. Also, I guess that does confirm that there are traps in these early floors. If I can find myself some X-ray specs, that would be amazing. Or not X-ray specs, uh... Goggle specs? Whichever one lets us see traps. Actually, X-ray specs would also be really good just so we can keep an eye out for monster houses. Because, as you can imagine, monster houses in this dungeon are pretty much deadly if you don't have the right items or moveset. Did you just eat my or- Oh, you ate my orange berry! Oh my god, you're re Oh god, you ate my apple. Okay, you know what? Back up. You take care of it. Thank you. Ah, uh, we lost an orange berry and an apple to that stupid Caterpie. Seriously, I think they specifically picked the most annoying Pokemon to put on early floors. Because, what, we got a bunch of Pokemon that can inflict sleep on you. They got things that'll eat your resources. I got poison. Oh, yeah, they have Pokemon that can poison you. Why is everything icky? That would have given me a level. 
Okay, I need to find a way to clean up my items at some point. Oh, we're also down to 30 bell. I need to be careful about that. Fortunately, I don't think food's that big of an issue. Compared to, like, everything else you gotta deal with. What do we got here? Uh, surround wand. What's that do again? That... Okay, that could actually be really good for hallways. It's extremely easy to get... That's completely useless to me. Boxes normally would be really good, but... I don't think I'm going to be hanging on to that for another 95 floors. Just gonna be honest on that point. Also, what the heck are... Okay, I'm done using spikes. I think they can just see them. Also, I just realized half my apples are icky. Bell Sprout, stop being I flinch. I'm moving. Bell Sprout, don't die. I legitimately need you. I can't do this alone. Ever mind you can die now, I've Cleffa. I have a baby who can sing. Which is actually really good because it puts enemies to sleep and I don't have to deal with them. Careful. Uh, HP swap. Mm, that could be okay. Probably sell that once I get once I get the chance or find a shop. That's another thing for items. You can actually just sell them for the money. Iron. Yeah, that's going on Mew. Drink all of your vitamins, Mew. Actually, I guess I don't have a choice on who it goes to. Kind of forgot that these guys aren't really my friends yet. They're just Pokemon who are just coming along for the ride at this point and probably won't be sticking around for too long. Back up, please. I don't want to fight this thing in the hallway and have it all eat all my po ugh, eat all of my uh, food. Speaking of food, I should probably eat soon. Yeah, you know what? Let's eat. Oh, that perfect apple would have been well perfect. The only problem is that it's icky and I can't use it. Watch, this is gonna be the dungeon where an eye drop seed actually becomes relevant. I need to stop hitting A like that. I'm so used to just hitting A to waste my turn that kind of forgot that Mew has a move that can actually be used at all times. Okay. Ooh, an apple. Ooh, a boo-doo. Someone kill that thing before it poisons me and kills me. Thank you. Is this apple okay? This apple's okay. Warp wand. I'll take it. We do need to be careful, right? I keep forgetting, Mew is a psychic type, so dark type moves are bad. Tiny Reviver Seed, okay. That is what I like to see. That gives us one extra chance to not die. Because yes, you can't get Reviver Seeds. If we get lucky enough and just get a ton of Reviver Seeds, that can honestly carry us to the dungeon. The only problem is getting enough of them. But yeah, any type of, any way to heal myself, good. Or any way to keep myself from dying, very, very good. Back up. Nope. Let's focus targets. Oh, crap. There goes Pound. Uh, well, I have Max Ethers. We'll be fine. Mega Punch, huh? Yes, I will learn that. Why do you know Mega Punch? Whatever. We're getting rid of Reflect Type. I'll restore Pound after this. Or we could just rely on Mega Punch for a while. You know what? How many Ethers do I have? Yeah, you know what? Let's use an Ether. As important as it is to conserve, it's also very important to, you know, actually use items when you need to. Let me see if I can get to its side so that... Oh, I was going to try throwing a spike at it. Because, yeah, I think what's happening with the spikes is that I'm doing it from their face so they know to catch it. What if you do it from, like, behind? Also, hold on a second. Wait. Oh, you know what happened? 
because I'm going to say, how are those rocks sticky? But never mind. Because it add, got added to a bigger stack, it kind of got cleaned up. Because items like that actually stack in this game. Man, it could really use some range and moves. Oh, you want an encore? Okay. Oh, I probably should have stepped on that tile to get rid of the stat down. Hold on. There we go. Alright, where are the stairs? Hey there, I'm gonna back up before you poison me. Apples always extremely important to pick up, especially considering half the ones we have right now can't be eaten. Yeah, those might just be shop fodder if we can't find a way to clean them up. Also, I'm still terrified about the day that we're gonna run into, like, uh, what is it? Then we're gonna run into a monster house and just lose everything immediately. Although the music in here is pretty nice. I don't know if, is this music unique to this dungeon? I feel, I feel like I've heard it before, so I don't think so. Oh, I see a spark. I see a held item. Oh, please be something good. Please don't be something completely useless to me. They're goggles, so they could be really good. Hold on. Don't die, Mew. Thank you. Uh, fickle. What do fickle specs do? You know what? It's better than nothing. Oh wait, sparkly floor, right. Uh, before we move on. Okay, hold on. Let me try something. So if we throw this... Okay, you know what? I need to look up why they keep catching them. Iron. Stats or stats? Doesn't fill your belly, but it's better than nothing. Ooh, Plusle. Uh, actually, can I give it one of my bad apples? I don't think the game will let you t give it to one of your bad apples. Back up. We're surrounded. Never mind. We gotta fight our way out. Yeah, I don't... I need to look that up. Uh, hold on. I don't want to accidentally use transform because I hit A to skip my turn. I guess I have light screen for that. But yeah, do I even want to recruit Plusle? Not really. The Pokemon will be replacing soon anyways. It's Sunny. Yeah, I'm not gonna recruit you for now. Sorry, buddy. I mean, it's your own fault for coming into this dungeon. This is like... There goes my pup belly, whatever. This is like one of the uh, higher level dungeons. How do you even get in here? You don't get access to this dungeon until you do at least a couple of the uh, post-game dungeons. And there goes my friend. I... I really want to, but I have to save the Reviver Seeds for myself. Man, Bellsprout was such a good Pokemon to have with us. It was five damage away from death. I'm still paralyzed, what the heck? Uh-oh. Uh... Goodbye? Oh wait, that doesn't affect me, never mind. Oh god, stupid paralysis. 
I might be alone soon. Yeah, I'm alone. Well then. I'm just gonna make a run for it. Stairs. Oh, those are silver spikes. I want those, but... And a seed. Okay, you know what? Go away. Alright, I need to make some new friends again. Both of my old friends died. I guess we were already getting to the... Yeah, I don't. Oh, wait, that's right. I had missions here, didn't I? Wait, hold on. I re one, one minute. Is this actually one of my missions that I forgot to do? I forgot I had jobs here. Oh. Okay, fine. Hold on. I'll do my job. I swear to God, I don't. Why don't don't they ever actually work? All right, let's go recruit. Or not recruit, but go rescue them. We do also need to be careful not to accidentally leave. Oh right, you're still alive. And there's the paralysis. I'm dead. Don't you dare par- Hi, Rain. Don't you dare paralyze me. Just die. Thank you. We could just leave now. But we're not going to. But yeah, like I said, I think they specifically picked the most annoying Pokemon to go against. Oh, Elekid, get in here. I need your help. We are now best friends. But yeah, I think they brought a lot of really annoying Pokemon to deal with just because... Uh, what is it? All these Pokemon have really annoying moves and stats ailments that they can inflict on you. Seriously, why does that not work? There! If it does land, it's amazing. The problem is actually landing it. Like, here. I'm gonna throw this at it. Is it because- yeah, it's from the front. So I guess it counted- it. Uh, caught it. Oh, oh wait, I guess they killed it, so I didn't get the recruit chance. God, freaking Votorbs. Okay, come on. Nope, yeah. You know what, I think it is because I'm throwing it from the front. I didn't think that was a thing before, but apparently it is a thing. I guess I'll try just smacking them from the back then. Also, I just realized I'm starving. That'll help out. But yeah, if I can find another Reviver Seed or two, that would be great. Don't- okay, good. No paralysis. This is the gen where electric types can't get paralyzed, right? I don't know who I'm asking that to, but I'm pretty sure there's a gen where electric types can't get paralyzed. So theoretically, if we just transformed into a electric type, we won't have to worry about that. Nidoran, welcome to the team. Oh, actually, that's actually a really good ability if we can find a shop. I could definitely use a resupply soon. Oh, is that another re I guess that's another rescue. I don't know where on the floor they are because I can't see them without x-ray specs. Ow! I'm fine. I was gonna use that citrus berry, but... I need to- okay, I need to be in max health to use these citrus berries. Please come forward a bit so I can attack you. Thank you. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, this is one dungeon where I would be completely okay with an army of Pokemon at my beck and call. And then I can just stand in the back and try to let them take care of everything for me. HP swap, yeah. Honestly, HP swap I feel like is just better as a sellable item. I guess if we're like really low on HP and the con- well, that could also backfire really badly if they're also low on HP. Okay, you know what, I'll, I'm okay with giving away a warp wand. Or not giving away, but having that become unusable. Iron, well, that goes on Mew. Gotta make sure we have plenty of iron in our diet. I need to stop doing that. Actually, no, that's fine. Double kick. Nidoran has a pretty good moveset. But yeah, I'm just so used to just being able to hit A to skip my turn that keep forgetting that Mew needs to be careful because she has a uh, actual ally attack. Alright, no, seriously though, where the heck is this Pokemon? There it is. Alright, you're being rescued. Nope, we're, keep, we're gonna keep going. Uh, you know what? I don't care about rocks at this point. Let's keep... Let's, let's do that. Let's just keep moving. We're on floor 10 out of 99. I would really like to find some TM soon, or a shop. Actually, how much money do we even have at the moment? I don't think we've actually been picking up that much money. 515, that's not bad. Yeah, we're gonna be selling all the items we picked up. Most of the stuff we can't actually use right now. So let's keep moving. Please don't poison- oh god. Actually, no, you can eat that. I'm okay with you eating, like, plain teeth. I don't really need those. They're cutting up my inventory. Boxes. Still useless to me. Actually, I wonder, do boxes sell for anything? I've never tried selling a box before. Also, Togepi is basically a wild card at this point. It could be really good or it could immediately kill me. Nope, we're good. Because as we've seen, what was it? Uh, Metronome can pull out some really absurdly powerful moves. Or it could just immediately screw them over, but you never know what could happen with Metronome. That's the fun of Metronome. I love Metronome, but it is definitely just a giant meme move. There goes Mega Punch. I'm backing up. In fact, you know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna do this now. Um, might be a little bit early, but I feel like this dungeon gives you enough ethers and elixirs that's not too terrible. Also, apparently we got string shot at some point. I'm a little worried about the fact that Ellie Kid is poisoned. We need to get to the stairs as soon as possible. Get that. Uh, get rid of that. Uh oh. Hmm. This could actually be really bad. Because, yes, Sandstorm. That's going to drain my HP very... Well, not quickly, but gradually as we can, like, explore. Baltoy, yes, you're another Pokemon. You're another body. Get in the team. We need to find the stairs immediately. Found them. Hail. Uh... If it was like Rain Dance, that would actually be really good, just so we can change the weather whenever we want. Hail, though, is the same issue as a Sandstorm. I'm not an Ice-type, so it would kill me eventually. Alright, it's fine. Something else we can sell. This is gonna be the one run where we... 
Or we don't have, like, a shop, isn't it? Uh, honestly, X-Ray Specs might be good just to A, find out where shops are, and B, to find out where monster houses are. But we're completely relying on RNG to get that unless we get a good shop. Alright, so we're, what, 13 floors down? Oop, TM. Dark Pulse, yes! Okay, it's usable, perfect. Uh, let's get that on. Let's get rid of... Light Screen. There we go. Is Dark Pulse ranged? No, it's uh, AoE. Perfect. Okay. Alright. But with that, I think this might be a good place to at least wrap up this first session of uh, Purity Forest. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX, we're going to continue this dungeon. At this rate, it's probably going to take like, we did what, technically 24 hours a day after my first death? So, four or five episodes maybe, depending on how quickly these floors go. We'll see. So, till next time.